And that was yeah. 96. Yeah. But for you, so, I mean, they, I, I guess just jumping slightly. So after you do River Nation, you come out with your second album. Games does such, does, well, did that surprise you how well it went and how, and because it was a slower jam, it wasn't like an opera. Yeah. I was I was a little surprised only because well I was surprised from a musical standpoint, from a musician standpoint because there's only two two chords in this entire song, <laughs> and for me that's just like ah you know we got to put a bridge in or it was a groove that's all it was just two chords, da 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 that's it so for me that's like man that's really scaling it down, but it also let me know that majority of people just have a common ear they're not really into all the crazy changes and you know so that once again that made me realize you know that hey music is if you want to be popular in that sense you have to really keep it simple yeah but, so people but, can really understand what you're doing but when the album that song and the album was taken off you still hadn't made your mind this is it no more you know no matter how successful this was I'm, I'm or did you were you still like well let me see no i was done by then after after i cut the record i already knew the label not, didn't know did they no they knew oh they knew that oh they knew yeah, that you, you knew. weren't going to do anything else and yeah not 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 i wasn't going to do anything as an artist under the currently constructed contract that i was under it was two album deals, so it, it yeah. Oh, okay. Well, technically, it was a three album deal, but but the third one, I think, was just my option whether or not. But I already knew I wasn't gonna. No, not not the way the contractual situation was constructed at that time. But by that time, they you know they got whatever they got out of me. They they you know. It wasn't. I wasn't needed anymore after that. After that point, wow. They made their money, and it's time to move on to the next victim. That's how it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the music business is. Once you find out exactly how it's run, they don't want you no more. Yeah, yeah. That's that's that is the epitome of what the music business is about. Yeah, I mean, speaking to Shanice, she she said one of the things that hampered her career was because her mum and the family knew a lot about the business. They started and to say, "Well, we're not going to make much." Yeah, Shanice is a sweetheart. She is. That's one of my favorite people, and we don't really hang out and talk a lot. But when we do, you know, because we have history, you know, me and Shanice, even back, I was trying to, you know, work on it. You know, I wanted to send her some songs and. At the time when she was with A and M Records, you know, when Brian Loren was doing her, you know, her her first album, which was a monster album. Yeah. Oh my God, that first record was a monster. That record should have blew out the roof. Mm -hmm. But again, so many you can only do so much in this business. They will the the industry will only allow you and allow so many different artists to get through. Everybody can't be on top. You know that song Prince had called Pop Life, where everybody can't be on top? Really listen to those lyrics of that song. And that's basically what the music business is about. Wow. That's why he wrote about that. You can be as talented as you want. You can have all the talent you want in the world. But if the powers that be say, hey, you don't fit our agenda, you don't fit what it is that we need for this to work, and for you to be famous, it's not going to work. They'll put a boundary, a limit on you. And see, I knew this. I knew all this even before I started, which is why it was so easy for me to step out because I already knew what time it was. Just by the way, you know, they responded to me. Uh, I already knew. See, so it was Prince easy for me. When Prince was saying a lot of this stuff, we were like, what's he doing? Make, make music. We we couldn't really understand when he's putting Slave and he's and he's talking about artists. need. You know, and we were like, what's he talking about? That it's a game. We're not going to win if we don't come together. And I was like, what? Most people are like, what, what are you talking about, man? You're, you're, you're Prince. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. The it's, there's just, there's so much to this game that you just have no idea what's going on. One day we could sit and just talk and <laughs> yeah. I can tell you, you know, but I know. it's like, <laughs> <laughs> business is crazy. 
did you see the the because you know right now you know people don't know that you're you're currently in Europe um, um in, in Vienna with with Lionel Richie supporting his yeah. uh, you've been his music director you've been all over the UK um and I'm sure are you going to be part of the F1 and Fire Lionel Richie ah uh, yes because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I didn't a, think a, about it like wait a minute uh, yeah, cause, yeah. <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Because it's been it's a big it's gonna be a massive tour. I mean the two it legendary is. acts performing and touring. But do you think the decision you made to accept the Janet Jackson offer really helped you re take this position where actually you know what you, you you have a very you're almost at the outside looking in from the music business side. You can you're working, you're playing music, you you you're you're part of it, but you don't have to deal with label politics as you as most people might have. Yeah, I mean, again, like I said, I knew exactly what I was supposed to do. I knew back then that I was only going to go so far. I already knew that. Uh, I do, was not going to give in to the politics and the, the crazy weirdo stuff in Hollywood. I wasn't going to do that. My background was... I was just implanted too much into my foundation of what my family was about to even think about doing any of that crazy nonsense because people talk about it, but when you are a part of the industry and you see it with your own eyes, it takes a lot to deal with it, especially when you're knowing that you're not like that or a part of it. It, you have to work three times as hard to just even get noticed a little. It's hard. It's it's in some cases ten times as hard. But then at that point, it's like, is it really worth it? Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you love what you watched, there's over a hundred artists that we've interviewed. So please check out the videos. Remember to like, share, and not unsubscribe. But better still, become a member of Halftime Chat and get exclusive videos ahead of time. But thanks for watching. Take care.